hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl again luminous skincare if you're seeing my face for the first time hi i'm luminous and on this channel we'll film about skincare product review supplement review DIYs, everything concerning skincare so in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to make your own osha prapra mulatto soap treat this through extra whitening soap call it whatever name you choose to it is the raining soap and it's actually a very very effective whitening soap however i've dropped a video on how to make this um, particular product on the on my youtube channel before but i have not dropped a practical video before so hence the reason for this video so i'll be teaching you guys a simple recipe yeah it's a simple recipe but it works believe me it works extremely well for you on how to make your own osha pra pra seven days whitening soap Without wasting much time, let's drive straight into the video. I'll be using my yellow zone soap. I'll be using the Larissa soap. And I'll be using this K Brother soap. Just this, this three soap. I'll soak it. I'll show you the full video of how I'll go about it. And I'll go ahead and share the soaps and I'll be back. So I showed. So I'm going to share the, the soap. Yes, in here, like I said, I have the K Brother soap. I have the Larissa soap. This Larissa soap is very, very effective. On its own, it can whitening the skin. So you don't need much in your mulatto soap to get that whitening effect. All you have to do is mix it right, and you will get a good result from it. So this is the three soap I'll be using for this whitening soap and trust me this soap is going to work extremely effectively. It's going to turn out very very nice. So I'll go ahead and soak this for a while because I still need to soak it for a while. I'm not a fan of soaking this thing with the water. I'm not a fan of soaking my soap with the water. So is it that I go in with um is it that I go in with a shower gel? Yeah, if you have a shower gel you can go in with a shower gel but i think i don't have a shower gel anymore so i'll rather go in with the glycerin yes i prefer the glycerin yeah this shower gel is not going to be enough to soak this so I, i'll go in with the glycerin i'll be hiding my glycerin to this i'll hold it as desire you know this is a paste soap so no matter what it's not going to turn out watery it's still going to be really thick so I'll go ahead and add my glycerin to this and I'll use this glycerin to soak it for a while yes maybe for like four to five hours then I'll come back and I'll show you the continuation of how I will go about this soap thank you I'll be back so here I have my soap you know I was going to let it stay for some time but I'm in a haste so what I'm going to do now this has not even stayed for up to 30 minutes what I'll be doing now is I'll go ahead and add other ingredients into this molasses soup I'll go ahead and add other things that I want to add into it so the first thing I'll be adding is of course my coconut oil you can replace the coconut oil with any other oil of your choice I want this to also moisturize as long as it's going to whiten it should not just whiten it and give that sharp skin it should also give a glowing skin that is the reason why this coconut oil is going there so i'll be adding just 20 20 ml of my coconut oil so that's 20 ml of my coconut oil i'll go ahead and add my 42 hour serum so I'll add 42 hour serum. I'll add 50. You know this is going to be a whitening soap. So I'll add 50 ml of my 42 hour serum. In case you don't know, this is our 42 hour serum. So I'll be adding 50 ml of it into this place. My skin is under here, so I can measure what I'm doing. So I added 50 ml of my 42 hour serum into this. The next thing I'll be adding into this is my skin filming. However, please be mindful of what you're adding. 
the reason why your mulatto soap go white i mean go dark or changes color is because of the kind of stuffs you had you're making a mulatto soap you're adding vitamin c powder you're adding um snow white powder all those powder tends to give your soap colors i would advise you go with serum instead of co um, powders and even the serum you're going to go with please make sure it's serum that doesn't changes with time make sure it's serum that wouldn't change within some time so i'll be adding just 50 ml of our skin free milk into this i'll be adding 50 ml of our skin free milk into this this soap without all this oil already this soap alone without the oil can give you a white skin so considering the fact that we're having more oils to this you can imagine how effective this is going to be so the next thing i'll be adding into this is going to be my labijanese oil like i said earlier i do not just want this to just whitening for whitening sake I also want it to give a glowing, a very nice look after you take your beads or after you've used it for at least two to three weeks. You should start seeing results of this soap. You must have been seeing this sharp, beautiful, nice color. So I added my Labijanist oil, 30 ml, and I have this oil is my extra whitening oil. I'm adding. 30 ml of my extra whitening oil is not much again so i added all the extra whitening oil it's a oil i made myself actually so you can make up an oil this is our like uh, 3d oil so i added 30 ml of the 3d oil to this the next thing i'll be adding into this is our prevention so you don't want as much as you want this to lightening you you don't want it to give you stretch mark and all so i'll be adding the stage two shenic stage two two cup of my shenic stage two to prevent from stretch mark green vein and the likes remember to always wear your glove you don't want to be a friend of knuckles if you are always watching my video you can tell that my knuckles is a very very neat this is because i don't joke with my knuckles and whenever in some video if i don't wear my glove just know after that video i will be doing my scrubbing so when you're doing stuff like this you will need to always be with your glove 24 7 don't joke with it so the next thing i'll be adding into this is my seattle oil i don't know if i'm pronouncing well but this is it i'm adding this oil into this mixture i'll be adding half of this into the mixture this is just a small soap so i don't want to do too much like i said earlier this soap alone without all this oil can give you a white skin considering the fact that i'm now adding this oil is just to give it that extra sharp effect larissa soap alone and ozone soap alone you all know they are very effective on their own so imagine adding all these beautiful oils to this imagine how beautiful and how glossy this will turn out to be so after adding this i'll go ahead and add my preservative the reason i'm adding this preservative is also this cream this soap doesn't change color because i'll still be leaving it to soak to ferment to be very very to turn paste you see it's still very strong so i'll leave it then it will be very very soft enough for me to mix so i'll add my preservative to this to, uh, to keep it from getting bad or changing color this is the reason why i advise you don't use water in this kind of formulation what can water can also change the color of your mulatto soap yes so instead of water you can substitute with other things we have good shower gels that you can use we have other good things you can use so another thing i'll be having is my bio oil as, a, as much as I want this to whitening, yeah, it's not all about whitening, whitening. 
it's not all about whitening i also wanted to glow the skin so i'll be adding this bio oil to my mixture as well i'll be adding just 10 ml of my bio oil will do yeah that's enough so this is all i'll be adding to my usha prapra mulatsu whitening oil whitening soap rather this soap is going to work magic take it from me this soap is going to work magic this soap is going to make you light even without cream honestly i'm not talking about sharp sharp whitening this going to, this soap is going to lightening your skin within a short period of time and you will love the outcome of this if you can't make this yourself at home you can come for imagine what look at what i'm giving you in a youtube class imagine what i'll be giving you if you're enrolling for our full class so you can enroll for our full class to learn the detail on how to do this video yourself you can also do this video do this soap yourself at home it doesn't cost much and you can purchase this because we also produce mulatto soap this is not the one we produce this one is just the one i'm using because we ran out of soap the one we produce is always much more rich much more effective than this so imagine the one we are selling so if you would like to learn or you like to purchase you like to sell or sell you can send us a dm on the number you're seeing on the screen i'll go ahead and soak this i can i'm going to leave it for at least maybe 18 hours for as long as i can just so it can ferment then we'll come back i'll mix and show you guys what it will turn out to look like so i eventually had a little bit of charge to this soap because it was really too thick and it was just too thick for me to be a paste so yeah it was almost too strong so i had to have going with a little bit of charge you can do you whatever you're fine with you can leave it the same way i left it with just the oil and a little bit of charge however you can soak it for a long while with a charge or please be please reminder that once you're soaking with a charge charger make sure to have your preservative because this mulatto soap has something if you leave it for too long without doing the right thing even if you didn't have those things that can change the color you can eventually start changing colors on its own the time i still had dead a little bit of charger because it was too thick so that's the reason i have this consistency you can see right here camera is not doing justice to what it's really beautiful right now i can bet you but the camera is really not doing justice to the color of this soap at the moment so this is the simple way to make your own molasses soap thank you very much for watching my video thank you for tuning in if you'd like to learn how to make soap yourself make sure to turn on Check out the number you're seeing on the screen. It's just a need money to invest for yourself this year and cash out big time. Yes, there's nothing that comes for free in this world. If you want to make money, you need to also spend money. So you can hurry up, learn how to make a strong 3D molecule for yourself by chatting with this number. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you guys in my next. That's how to make your own Osha Prapra whitening soap at home. I hope you've been able to learn something from that video. If you have, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified each time once I'm here with a new video. Until next time, see you guys. Bye. Peace.